Welcome everybody, my penguin army, to a new different series here on the channel. I'm going to be doing a little bit of a let's play. A bit different to my usual stuff, which is just cutting up my streams and putting it on to uh, YouTube. This is purely recorded. Purely just me, in front of the computer, playing some Outer Worlds today. Hopefully to turn it into a, a long fucking good long series there's a lot to do in this um and fucking yeah man perfect okay when prosperity awaits you in the stars come to halcyon the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations a trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. Oh damn. Yo. He did be having button issues though. Who's that wolf web fucking Logan? Who's that werewolf? Wait, what's his name? Fucking claws? Three claws come out? Fuck me. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Fucking suave as hell. Yo, we do be looking kind of suave though. Nah, I wanna, I wanna take this seriously. I wanna be a pretty lady. What's my name? Floppo. Oh, wait. My favorite companion of all time. We have to. We have to. This is what this is what Piper did after Fallout. This is what she came out to be colonist. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Not likely bootlickers. Not likely bootlicker. Hey Doc, this is a bumpy ride. Can you? We escaped. We did do the escaping. Holy shit. Oh, we're a bit damaged though. Yo, his name's Phineas? Phineas Wells. Bruh. Where's Ferb? Oh. Ah, 
there you are wondering what's going on, eh? Yep. A bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Okay. The colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. <laughs> Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, <laughs> not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yeah? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Huh? What? Doc, what's going on? Jesus! No warning or anything, it's just... Boom. Down you go. Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry, Ooh. I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing I've got him gloves, though. Ship, that sort of thing. You like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. So you can I'll check in with you as soon. As you've you like. chipped me like that COVID vaccine. I'm all the colonists are counting on you. Dad. Is that you? Daddy? The light. It's so bright. Oh wait, no. I'm I'm actually just on this planet. Ah, oh, you've landed good. I have oh, indeed, yes. Close by. What in Lord's <laughs> name? Is that him? Oh that <laughs> idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Wow. Oh, you love to see it. Love to see grass and games. Don't walk in it. We might get attacked. Like that. Run. <laughs> Wait, what? Did they? I thought they were coming after me. Ah, oh, no. Okay. They don't give a shit. Let's get up there. Come on, let me up. Let me. Easy now. You've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Doc, what was that? It's almost like time changed or something. I don't know. Just a just a thought. Hey yo, who are you? God, hey, Pelham, hey? Come here. You've yep. tried the best now. <sighs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. Huh? Uh, looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. <coughs> Spacer's choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Well. I helped you anyway, so we pay up. I don't do these services for free. How are you feeling? Better, thanks to you. I might have bled out on my own. Or worse, had to go begging the boss for some Madrina time. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Well, you obviously my couldn't. Gun misfired right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. What's this about marauders? Flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. 
<gasps> with guns. Their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Uh, persuade. Uh, give me the gun, and I'll go help. Get help. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you give me the gun, I surely won't kill you. I'll go get help. You look like you know your way around a gun. Yeah, that's yeah, that's ammo. a good idea. Counting the bullet in my side. Yeah. yeah. You can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. Yeah. All Spacer's choice weapons are now thirty percent less likely to malfunction. Yeah, yeah sure. Guys, Tell that to your side. Spacer's choice. Yes, nailed it that time. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go. Yeah. See, look. The thing is, um. Yeah, sorry, we can't, you can't know I've been here. Yeah, that's a, it's a shame. That's a real shame, that is. I need all your shit too, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like you had a really nice camp here, but I'm just, uh, I'm gonna. Yeah, what a shame. He had a family and a wife and two children. They're all... You're gonna miss their papa. Fucking missed? Fucking missed? What? Oh! Okay. Due to the complications steaming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain perceives time differently. Uh, yes, indeed. Press the tactical design button, the TTD. <laughs> Tits. Titties and dick. Ha! <laughs> ah, yes. Stealth missions. You know, they've called me one of the best stealthers in the world when it comes to stealth games. Have you seen me play Dead by Daylight? Go check out my Twitch. There's a few good VODs in there for you. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Peebo. Um, yeah, I'm really good really good at stealth. Look, he doesn't even know I'm here. Okay, maybe he does. Maybe he does. Maybe he does. Maybe he does. Oh, maybe he does. Whoop, 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 whoop. Leave a comment down below if you like my, uh, Obama impression. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna go kill the Muslims. Uh, I need your help, my fellow Americans. Uh, I like good dick. I like a good dickin'. Uh, she... Michelle gives it to me every time. Uh, it uh gets me hard. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that rung leech, landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. Yeah, crazy. Fine, if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. I know, right? Really? How is he? Uh, him? He's doing well. Totally fine. <laughs> you can't know I've been here. Uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's doing all right, I think. Uh, last time I saw, he was, um, fit as a fiddle. Well, that's a relief. You don't want to know how much paperwork's involved in paying off a gravesite fee. We'll see him back to Edgewater. Just as soon as I cross these marauders off with a swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. Yeah. Just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Yeah, you do that. Do that. Um, well, sometimes. Sounds like you're a pussy, though, so. Benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. You're right. Yeah, go get him. We cross those marauders off. Find you do you, girl. And file a full report. Then it's going to be fucking laminated. It's going to be awesome. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. So we got on the ship and now someone's talking to me. I don't appreciate it. Intruders are not authorized to act. Marauder, please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. 
Uh, you can shut the fuck up. Thank you very much. I'm gonna take all of your all shit. Doors are on security lockdown. Nice try, Marauder. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm a Marauder. Yeah, that's me. They call me Big Big Marauder Man. All right, what do you have to Access say for yourself, huh? Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Gesture procedures initiated. Disengaging airlocks. Prepare to eject all boarding parties in five, four, three, two, one. Nothing's gonna happen. We're on the ground. My deception protocols have failed. Yeah, well. I have been programmed to express disappointment. <sighs> yeah, you should. Yeah, yeah, you should. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. <laughs> Sorry, but he's uh, understand. he's dead. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. You're welcome. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? You're a smart robot. Uh, uh I get you. I get you. I'm fucking, I'm on the fly. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Yeah, yeah, they don't they don't call me uh super smart for nothing. Inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure and we were forced to make an emergency landing. So the main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged. He and must be replaced. He was waiting for me here though, wasn't he? He was supposed to be here normally, not astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the unreliable. Do you understand? Rara Reggie, I read it. Reggie, I got you. Captain Hawthorne of the Unreliable, huh? Yeah, uh, yes, I do. I do feel like I could. Oh, I could get a part. I could get a. I could, uh, my name's Piper, but you know, I'm just thinking that maybe, um, maybe I could take up the name Hawthorne. Just um. Yes, just a little bit, maybe. Mm, yes. Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. I will. I will. You know, this is my second life. I'm not going to give it up that easy uh, as Captain Hawthorne. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, ma'am, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. Afraid we gotta dock your pay. Oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. It's, it's a real shame because the first time I played this game, right? Before I was rudely interrupted there. I've played this game once before, but I didn't complete it. Now this time I'm hoping to fully complete it because I've always loved these, uh, you know, fucking fallout and shit. So I'm hoping y'all can join me on this one actually. And we can have a good old blast together. Oh, Edgewater. 
it's what happens when you eat yourself and that little bit of like pre-cum comes out and it it's like water yeah that's it self-lubrication i like whoa hey where'd you come from uh over the hill don't go ambling out in those hills that's marauder territory friend uh i just killed them all You talk too pretty for a marauder. And I look Both too pretty too. Grunt and yell. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. <laughs> Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. I, I mean, I don't mind. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. I see. Hey, I earned that fancy title. Yeah. <laughs> Started off a lowly junior gravesite builder, then junior interment engineer. No, oh, and I was a junior burial assistant for a time. The rate I've been working, I'm bound to earn a promotion. Must be about 50, 60 burials away from associate in humor. Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. <laughs> if you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Uh... Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see? Uh, I get you, I get you. You want me to be the tax man's bitch. The old ferryman for the bills, hey? You want me to be the old man that roughs them up just to teach them a lesson or two about not paying their due, eh? Yeah, you've got to, you've got to buy your burial ground. You can't get that shit for free. No way. No, no. In this modern society, nothing's free. Alright, alright, I might, I might just be able to help you out a little bit there, sir. I might just be able to do a little bit of helping you out there. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, <laughs> Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. I'll twist more than his arm if you get my drift. Sorry. Where, where was I? Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Uh... Yeah, I'll get it. I'll get it back to you. I'll get it. I'll go get it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure he'll talk to me if I twist his arm. Yeah. Okay. What's in here? What do you? What do you? What's this? Hello? Anyone home? Sorry. There's just there seems to be things lying around that I just can't help but uh help but uh take. Yeah, just um. Uh, Okay, I really don't, I'm not that desperate to steal shovels. Look, really. What do you think I am? Some lowly thief? Alright. Ah, yes, Edgewater. The home of the Mary, huh? Can't wait to settle down, make a family, maybe go to the barber shop every once in a while. Even though I'm not a barber. Nothing for us outside. What could I possibly buy from the barber shop if I'm not a barber who uses the barber's shop? The shop for all the barbers, you see? I just, uh, I don't know. That's the salty, the salty spittoon, huh? Yeah, I, I don't think I'm tough enough to go into the salty spittoon.
monkey, Argo? I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson, sir. Huh? You asked why it's taking so long to fix. The answer's technical. Seems we've got a guest. No, keep going. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. I'll wait until you finish. You're saying, Miss Holcomb. It's just what Bess needs is mm, a mm. proper refurbish. Mm. I, I can refurbish. Up and what all, but she's just old. Mm, old. Sorry, I I'm sorry. I'll I'll do better. And I yeah, do better. Wish stop referring to our cannery as Bess. Personification of company property is strictly contrary to the Spacer's Choice Code of Conduct. Yeah, you should my know. Apologies. I am not in the habit of allowing my guests to uh, witness such a you're, row. You're fine, you're fine. Now, you're fine. what can I do for you? No, you're fine, you're fine. Uh, uh, well, uh, well, we can start with introductions. I'm Piper. Outpost Administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. I don't work for you. I'm not a little puppet to your little shenanigans. Your little game. Of course not. I don't have that kind of luck. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Flattery won't get you there far with me, Mr. Thompson. My ship needs repairs. I'm looking for a regulator. Mr. Thompson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have That's what she said, you dumb fuck. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Oh yes. Saw someone put his hands on a regulator while the power was running. His legs were still twitching when we buried him. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Mostly, Go huh? Geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. There. Mostly abandoned, huh? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. Yeah. What a surprise. I never would have guessed. I am not trying to pull one over on you. Oh, you, you definitely did try, but I'm too big a brain for that. My brain has so many wrinkles you wouldn't even imagine. They're deserters. Former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Great. I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. I'm... I'm on to you. You... fucker. Yeah, I'll see you, robot head. Silly. Alright, let's go. I'm not done with you. I'll be back! Where's the button? Fucking leave. I'll be back! Yeah, so we just met. Hi, I'm, uh, I'm, what's my name again? Lisper? Hi, Piper, that's it. My name's Piper, how are you? We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Uh, good, good, good thinking, good thinking. Hey. Don't want the boss man hearing. Sorry. 
Got a sec? Sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters. On account of it's his job and, and what all, but... That's not the only side of the tale. He ain't a liar. He believes every word he says. It's just, he doesn't always get where other folk are talking from. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Miss McDevitt? Oh, gosh, no. She was a real important person. A flavorist. Made all the food taste decent. She used to work up in the big office with Mr. Thompson. All I know is she left after her son died. It was a real big to-do. I could hear them both yelling clear from my own place. Life's hard here. Especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big Spacer's Choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Thanks, ma'am. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say anyways. Who the fuck does your dad think he is? Pope, you fucking degenerate. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling, this season's toss ball predictions, the quickest way out of town. But what? I, I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Yes, well, the thing is... Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Ms. Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. Do you have any help for me, though? Do you think you could help me with that? Not if things are left to stand as they are. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. 
Ah, yes. Okay, so this is the mission that he wants me to do. Okay. I assume you're gonna burn it. No, I don't want to burn it. Why not? Why? I mean, I just want to look. Yeah. Very simple goal here. I just want to keep the writing out of layman's hands. Sure, you do. For such information. I've heard all this before, Mister. On the contrary, my position means that I am one of the few legally allowed to possess such items. But do not worry. You'll be safe since you are acting on my behalf. Maybe I'll get the book and sell it to someone else. What are you going to think about that, huh? I can assure you, you won't find another willing to risk imprisonment to possess this book. Nor anyone willing to pay the price I can offer. Uh -huh. Okay, then. we see eye to eye. Yeah, sure. It's a handwritten journal, a faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower M. Bakonu? What the fuck? I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? Yes, I'm fucking serious. I'll get your fucking book, you fucking bitch. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Yep. Sure. Cool. The thing is, I know that he's one of the companions. Uh, so, in this series, my whole objective is to fuck and get pussy. Get pussy, fuck. All the good things. Uh, no, uh, we're going to be doing all the side missions. That's what we're, we're going. That's what we're going to be doing here. Let's go talk to the people of Edgewater, huh? Let's go get some more story behind everything. Fuck the general store. We don't have anything to sell Let's just yet. The walls today. Nothing for us outside those walls. You ought to know that. Really? There's quite a lot, actually. There's other planets too. You should really try it sometime. Ooh, the barber shop. Okay, I finally get to enter, even though I'm not a barber. But Conrad sells real good disinfectant. Ah, yes, do you? Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. No, it doesn't Physical fit. hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. Relax, dude. No, thank you. That's quite all right. I've seen enough body parts in my line of work. I'm Conrad. Weren't you a barber? Report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death. Whereupon I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. Okay. Well, let's just get down to brass tacks. I've been sent to collect your dues. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. You mean you broke. As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. Sir... That's some quality drama, Conrad. You should audition. Thank you, no. I despise the serials. Yeah. <laughs> Tell Silas I can't afford to pay. And that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. A plague? The grace of the law. And through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Yeah. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. Uh, I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. Yeah. Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers. No, <laughs> that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. The barber shop. My 
Much obliged. Hmm, so we've got to help young fella out. Hey, I saw that. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. What do you think you're doing? Nothing. <laughs> Lie. <laughs> Lie, nothing at all. Carry on. I didn't do anything. Good sir. Didn't do a single thing. Fuck you, Doc. So, wait, I've got to talk to you now that I've what found that I information. Oh? Am I in the company of a fellow doctor? Yeah, actually. I am quite, They call me Dr. Peebo. I know all about your issues. And only if we use the term doctor loosely. I am a Spacer's Choice Certified Surgeon, and if you must know, I can stitch a severed thumb with a 58% chance of avoiding gangrene. 58%? Wow, that's almost like he's not going to get gangrene at all. Get grang gangrene? Gangrene at all. You know about Eugene? How? I... Uh then, yeah. <laughs> you know Phyllis suggested selling off Eugene's gold teeth. I didn't approve of the idea then, and I don't approve of it now. Do it. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. Passed down from... He took them to his grave. Passed down from generation to generation. He was sitting... His grandfather sat there in his rocking chair. Son. I know you. I know you to take those teeth. Take them. Use them. Put out your own teeth, you say. Yes. And do that to your, your son before you. Okay. He dies. That's that's how it worked. He, he died in his rocking chair. That's unthinkable. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein are solely the property of Spacer's choice. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? Can I? Yes. Uh, are yes, you, you can. Rhetorically, because if you're being serious, ugh, gross. Shut Desperate the fuck up. Measures, Miss Holcomb. Desperate measures. I'm going to have to ask Silas to dig up those teeth. It's the only way I'm paying my gravesite fees. I'm sure that I have no other choice. Yep. Here Just like Spacer's choice. Site papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. Perfect. Now I can leave. Just to talk to these other two bitches. Bitches be crazy. Am I right, gamer? Yes, Mr. Thompson. I'm fine, Mr. Thompson. Never been healthier. Who the fuck are you? Who are you talking to? I'm... Are you trying to convince yourself? Because that's not going to work, sir. Well, uh, did, uh, did Mr. Thompson send you? Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow. Because I'm definitely not plagued. Fry <laughs> is a spring chicken. <laughs> that's old Abernathy. <laughs> definitely not plagued. You some sort of wandering alienist? Yep. Walking into a man's own domicile, pestering him about his mental state. Yeah, you seem fucking nuts. Just gonna say it. What? No. I mean, uh, it uh, might be. Depends who's depends asking. Depends on who's asking. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you so owe some money. Silas can afford a hired thug, but I still gotta pay him a burial tax. Yep. Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. Yep. That's why he wants me to pay up. Yep. Nose. Sounds like he's already told you. Yep. You may as well hear it from me. Yep. I'm dying. I know. I'm not long for this world. It, you can, I can tell. Expiration is fast approaching. It's actually in Soon two days. I shall be ushered through the great cannery in the skies. <laughs> Don't say that, Mr. Abernathy. You still got a couple decades in you. No, no, he doesn't. You're clear, Ms. Holcomb. My affliction's bound to be contagious. It's plague. Has to be. Silas knows. He knows I got one foot in my grave, and now he wants to charge me for the other one. 
Actually, yeah, that sounds about right. That's how this world works, sir. You are? Oh, wow. First time anyone's ever told me that. Yep. I'll pay your fees. I don't want any trouble from Silas. But if you could see your way to freelancing for me, I could really use the help. What do you need? A couple hours out of your day and some light second story work. That's all. Huh? There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Uh... Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. I'll do it! <laughs> you me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, oh Lord. my spleen now, I can feel it. <laughs> yep, that's how that works. Sure, all right. Taking an awful risk know, trusting in me. But I got nobody else to turn to. That's a fair point. Reed would have wrote me up. Constable would have locked me up and wrote me up. Could have gone to see the good vicar, but I never did find my courage. Uh, Maybe let's continue. For Abernathy. Shut the fuck up. Look at all these fucking graves. Why are they all metal? They don't need to be metal. They can just be fucking mounds, you realize. Maybe it's security. That would make sense. Oh, how did you, 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 what? You saw me? Bitching. Bitches be crazy. Bruh. Shut the fuck up. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Change to the old bazooka. Sometimes I wonder what I'm doing. Hey, I need to talk to you. You wanna mingle? Go try the cantina. Nah. I have the medicine you wanted. Let's see it. Don't keep us waiting. <laughs> Haven't decided? I hired you. The nature of your employment requires you to deliver in my hand some genuine anthracillin. Bitch, please. Yeah, whatever. Sweet life-given nostrum. The first hit's always the best. Scratch together all the bits I had around the domicile. It ain't as much as you deserve, but it's all I got. Eh, whatever. Take your fucking money, you dirty drugger. You'd really sprat me out? For what? A couple of extra bits? Here, take it then. I will. You fucking... You're a junkie. We already know that you're a filthy fucking mongrel. Yeah, we're gonna leave that there. Thank you all for joining me. My name is Bebo. And, uh... If you made it all the way to the end, thank you very much for, for watching. There's going to be a lot more of this game to come. Hopefully, every week. Um, so, keep an eye out for that. Uh, smash that like. Hit that fucking bell button. No, not the bell, the subscribe button. And the bell button. Why not all of them? All three. Bang, bang, bang. And I'll see you all next time. Cue the outro.